Hey guys, it's Binky the Hunter. Today I was planning to make a tutorial on Rodeer, specifically on Hemeldal and also Val de Bois, because on Hemeldal and Val de Bois, Rodeer live in groups, mixed groups. They also live on Hirschfelden, but there they only live alone. So this this tutorial will mainly be for Hemeldal and Val de Bois. Uh, first thing I did was check the competitions for Hemeldal and I entered all the ones I thought were possible. Uh, one for Rodeer, I have to shoot one with a recurve bow. Here I have to shoot the three heaviest reindeer. Jaime's leak, I have to shoot a... Uh, what was it? A Eurasian lynx weight at least 21.2 kg at 100% harvest value. So that uh, moves wisely is just shoot uh, the, hi the highest scoring moose. And Foxy Lady is shoot the highest scoring female f red fox. So that's what we're. That's what the, the competitions I entered. Let's load up Hamel though, and I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, we're back at Hamel though. Uh, I will be taking the 7mm, I will be taking the red dragon compound bow and I will be taking the recurve bow of course, the modern recurve bow, for if I find any big road here. Then I will be taking a tree stand, I got the reindeer collar, road deer collar, moose collar, I got a fox collar and also the e collar for the Eurasian lynx. So, let's get on our way. I'll bring you back if I find something interesting. Here I just got a call from a female Rodeer. But here on Hamilton and also on Val de Bois, Rodeers live in groups, mixed groups. So there could also be males with her. And I know a lot of people hate hunting roe deer. I actually don't really mind hunting them, just because there's one thing nice about roe deer. The males come trotting in and the females they come in very slow. So when you get a call like this, what I normally do is give some calls for the roe deer at a good spot. Then head back a little, about 20 to 30 meters, find a good spot where I can look at the, play, the spot where I ca called earlier, and then I'll just lay and wait, because the males should, if there are any males, they should come in rather fast, they should come in trotting, oops, can I get on this rock? Now I just wait. Like I said, the, the males come in trotting, but there's always the possibility there are more than one males in the group and with the roe deer males the small males they come in trotting real fast and the slow the big males they come in real slow sometimes they almost walk in they are still much faster than the females but and the risk is when you shoot the first one roe deers also have uh, one one more thing that you should notice when you shoot double sh double long shoot a, a roe deer with a with a bow it will still run for about 10 or 20 meters max, but and then it will spook any bigger road deer that were still coming in, that were, were coming in slower. So keep that in mind, when you're hunting big road deer and you see one coming in, it's always a good idea to wait a little, little more and see what comes in more. And just like this time, I had a female call and I just tried to call them in, if there were any males they would have shown up now, so I think 
it's just females or one or more but no males I guess else he would have been here now so that's the main reason why I don't really hate hunting roe deer it's rather fast now I know I can move on just ignore that female or spook her in the other direction that's also a possibility so she stops calling and I'll bring you back when I find something interesting I just spotted the reindeer it's a decent one but he only got one shovel so he won't score that high I'll just call him in and take him out with a bow I think he's all alone by, alone, by the way one thing with the reindeer the, the caller only attracts males so females won't come to your to the caller Looks like a decent one. <laughs> That's something they do a lot on Hamelball, I noticed. Also the moose. And I advise not to shoot them when they do this. <whistles> that will be our female again. spot her I think ah, I think I see her behind the reindeer through the bushes there are two of them what I will do is shoot this reindeer and then spook off the road there in the other direction and then move on also something with the road here when you spook them or when they are alerted they start barking at you the sound you just heard now also when I walk towards them probably you will hear them barking first and then they run ah they're running but you hear the barking there they go like I said, I don't mind. That's a decent reindeer. Nice. Ah, I forgot to look at the weight, but now I spooked off the road here in that direction, and I'll be heading in that direction. So by the time the road deer are unspooked, I am already out of render for them. Here we found a male road deer. He just called. Let me see what I do 
now is look for a suitable spot. I think this will do. for about 25 meters or something 20 meters most of the time is enough but sometimes they keep trotting towards you a little more and then they head back to the, uh, where you called so take a little bit more then you should be good and always try to use a little rock or something so you have some elevation Let's see what comes in. Could be just one, but there could be more. <whistles> That's probably a female calling. Yes, it happens a lot. She is in the same group of the the male that called earlier. But the males are, are already trotting on their way to where I called. And the females, they will be, uh, also be on their way, but very slow. So, And the males, they, most of the time, they make it within before the, the, the call expires. So I already hear footsteps. But like I said, don't shoot right away. Because the smallest one are the first to arrive. See, I hear more. There are more footsteps. Mm, that one is already a little bigger, but... I think that's all also. Yeah, I see nothing else. So let's shoot the biggest of these two. And that's that one. So that's nice. Let's make sure there's nothing on his way. Some moose and a bear running over there. <laughs> Two moose. <whistles> Spotted bear. How big is that bear? It's the female, okay. I found her track earlier. See, there's one of the, f the females of the row there that was in the group that called earlier, but the females are so slow, she won't even get here. The call has expired by now, so... And if I spook her, I don't care. See, now she, saw she was on to me, she started barking. And now she's running. <laughs> it's okay. It's a very small one. The bigger ones go over 200. And they can go up to 265, I think. And up to 35 kg. got a lot of female animals in the area here so I think what I will do is make fast travel over here. Roe deer are 
everywhere on this map. The foxes are more to this side of the map and the Eurasian links more to the side I'm, I just fast traveled from. from. But the road they are, I think they are everywhere. As are the moose. And ah, I got a lynx. Well, they also come to this side, as you can see. <laughs> uh, the reindeer, I just wanted to say they also uh, they migrate. That's a whole different story. Reindeer, they enter the map and they they trot from one side to the other, mostly in a straight line. And then they leave the reserve again, just to re-enter at another point and do the same thing over and over. So you can also encounter re reindeer everywhere on the map. And I'll bring you back when I find something interesting. After my fast travel, I'm still being plagued by female moose. So I got a boom moose here somewhere. I'm gonna shoot that with my rifle, and then I'm gonna restart the game. Not the best pawn for road here, I guess. Before the females catch up again. <laughs> He's gonna stop behind the tree. No, he's not. Ah, I think we have the reindeer glitch again. The moment you shoot, a reindeer appears. That reindeer wasn't here for sure before. One minute ago. That's five minutes from five meters from where I was. <laughs> Maybe ten. I think that's an old glitch. Intestine then. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna get that reindeer and then we're gonna restart the game. Yes. So strange that it happened to me so many times. The moment you shoot, out of nowhere, a reindeer starts fleeing. Maybe when I look back to recording, I s can see exactly what happens, but. I think it just appears out of nowhere. I think I see him. The 
That's him, right? I think so. He is spooked, so he has... Level 3. I thought he would have... I would have dropped that, but... Oh well. He will go down. Shot. Smaller than first. go for the restart <coughs> oh that's a nice rain there three shovels that's a very nice one Risky close to the tree, but should be good. Yes, perfect. Nice. I got a call from a female reindeer, so I started calling. Good thing I did. Very tempting. Get the spots on them. As always, one male and some females. And now the females will leave. Because only the male will come to the caller. There's still one there. It's okay. That's a nice reindeer. Five seventy three. That's a good one. Take a trophy shot of that. Second in the competition. Nice. That's a cool picture. Yeah, let's make it like that. Here I got a fox uh, call female, but that's okay because I'm in a competition where I need to shoot a female. As a matter of fact, I hunt the foxes about the same as I do the roe deer. Let's see, it's kind of a hard spot here. Again, I need about 30 meters with 
the foxes, maybe 40 is even better. Let's see. Fox caller. Oh, wait. Of course, I got the tree stand with me. That should make it a lot easier. Best example. Normally, I I hunt them the same as the road deer. I make a call, then I move back about 30 to 40 meters, rather 40 meters with male foxes because they see a lot better. They are a lot more skittish than the road deer. But with the tree stand, I should I should be good like this. only 12 or 13 meters I think it's enough now Ooh. there she is it's going in slow that's a good sign most of the time female that could be a big one we got hmm. oh, 10 kg that's a decent one not sure how big the female foxes get but I think they get a lot bigger than this so position hmm. oh well let's move on this is turning out to be more of a fox hunt than a roe deer hunt because there's not a fox call and there she comes small one this time like I said, uh, they come in about the same as the male road ears. They come in trotting, so the idea is the same. Their senses are a bit better. Their nose and their sight. And those are also the main senses you have to take. Be careful of with the road ear. They have good eyesight and also a good nose but when you hunt them from the ground and you keep in, in mind you take at least 30 meters 25 to 30 meters distance they will never smell you so you don't have to use scent eliminator and also the scent spray for the road air I also never use that because the males come in trotting so fast you won't need it only when you're hunting females but don't know why you should do that <laughs> small fox I think I'll do a, another restart soon and see if I can find some more roe deer because it's a hard day for roe deer to find anything else but no roe deer So, be right back. There 
there's another road here. But not from the direction where I got the call earlier. close I think where is it oh. female Okay, we're back at Hamelbow. Yesterday I didn't have too much luck finding road here, so today is a new day. My competition's finished. I finished second uh, with the reindeer. I didn't expect that, but so that's nice. That's 75, 75 EMs. So that's always wel always welcome, of course, and a trophy. But let's see if we can find. Uh, we have more luck today. Again, I can't spot any road ears, find any road ears, but I did find a decent bear. The weight isn't that high, but the score estimate is quite high, so I think I'm gonna take that one down. Should be a good shot. Let me see. Bad shot, the best shot I mean. I was afraid I, uh, I would have hit the shoulder blade, but it's okay, it was a long shot. I think he will score just 25, he will be at the lowest the score estimate but 405 kg 25.7 see oh well still 94 gm so bears are good money makers Finally, <laughs> I've been waiting for that for a long time. Found a buck. So calls over here and I'm gonna get back on my rock and wait
first buck in a long time. Well, the first roe deer in a long time. And there's also a female, and there she is. She was close. But we want the box, of course. coming. It's a very small one. But let's hope more will come. Damn. That's the danger with road deer. Sometimes they walk past from your, where you called and then they turn around like now and they head back to the place where you actually called but first they come a little towards you so don't call too close I hear more footsteps I see another one but it's a female I think yes and that's the same male that called earlier be only one male and a very small one then so I'll just take this take this male <laughs> that's a very bad shot but doesn't matter You still will go down very fast. Rodeo are actually very, very tough. When you shoot a double lung shot, well, this is a lung shot. <laughs> when you double lung them, they will still run for about 10 meters, but they will always die very fast. Even when you make a body shot, I think they won't go that far. Fourteen percent. That was a bad shot, but oh well, we got it. <laughs> That's a very small one. They do get a lot bigger, but for now, I'm lucky to find any males, any road deers at all. Also, I think that's it for this video. <laughs> I got enough of road here. Thanks for watching and see you later.